Hi friends, in this video we are going to show uh, how to build a 450 watt voltage with the KKT15 light controller and this drone belongs to the micro drone category. This is a beginner's to master class guide that means there is no need of any prayer language to, for making this drone and the odd parts which we are using in this drone to buy the, those odd products uh, we have given some links in the description and you can go there and you can buy it and I hope you will enjoy the video. Let's start. the frame of the drone, we will get four arms and a power distribution board. The power distribution board is used to distribute the power from the battery to all motors. The motors used here is 1000 kV brushless motors, which is uh, different from normal motors because this one has more power than the normal ones. Also the propellers, it is 10 into 4.5 in dimension. The material used for making the propellers are carbon nylon or carbon fibers etc. The speed of the motor is controlled by ESCs, electronic speed controllers. This one is connected to the distribution board where the power from the battery is directly uh, connected to ESCs and then to the motors. And also I suggest, uh, I suggest for beginners to use landing gears because uh, while landing it, uh, it reduces the impact to the drones. In this drone we are using lipopolymer battery which comes is the high output of current because we are connecting four drone four drone motors as in parallel so we need high output of current that's why we are using lipopolymer batteries in this we are using six channel transmitters in this tra transmitter this this model is fs ct 6b and this the transmitter works on 2.4 gigahertz channel and this this is the uh, required receiver for this transmitter and this is the motherboard of this drone. The mains. This is the flight controller, which comes with everything that like self leveling and everything will be done in this uh, flight control only. And this flight control is like uh, this model is KK215, and um, which this is not a high high updated version of this because the only in this you cannot use GPS and DBS and all. Only you can use is like self self leveling and the flight. Everything you can control with this. But if you want more more than this, you can. You can find the link of that flight control in the description. Now we will start connecting the drone. The first connection will be the connection between ESC and distribution board. We are going to connect four ESC into the distribution board. We can see some des desired slot on the distribution board which uh, should be connected with the, with the positive and negative of the ESC. You can see the red is positive and black is negative and another wire is there which comes from ESC uh, this will go to the flight controller you can see this this is the connection which brings the supply to the distribution board this is connected to the battery and you can see the positive and negative slot of that also now we are going to the going to connect this frame into the distribution board it is a type of screw connection and uh, you can tie it using allen key and uh, for buying allen key we have given link in the description also I like the way we connected the first arm, you should connect all the four arms into the distribution board. Now we completed fitting the four arms of the quadcopter. There is a small plate which comes over it. We, we will fix it and now this quadcopter frame is almost over.
we are going to connect the motors and the ESC. The since there is no polarity like something in ESC and motor, you can connect in any way. And the red wire is red wire of ESC is the signal wire. So if you connect the other two wires in other direction, the direction of rotation will change. Now we are going to connect the all signal pins from 4 ESC to the flight controller. You can see the 4 signal pins, we are connecting that to the flight controller in 1, 2, 3, 4 layout and you can find the detailed connection in the description. This is the device which is used for indicating the charge remaining in the battery. Now I am going to connect it. In this you can see the you can see the charge remaining in the batteries. This LiPo battery is conducted of 3 cells. It will show the charge remaining in 3 cells. Now we are going to, we are going to arm the drone. So for that we have, we have to own the transmitter first and then connect the battery. Then turn the throttle stick to the bottom left end. Now we can see that the red light flashes, which means the drone has been armed. Now when you and to disarm, just turn the throttle stick to the bottom right end.
video. There are some safety precautions that you should follow. Always, always try to fly the drone in outdoor places only. And uh, also uh, try to maintain the flight only in your line of, line of sight. Because when you lose the connection between the transmitter and receiver, it will end up in a crash or you might lose it. I think you enjoyed the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video, you can contact us. The numbers are given in the description and it's time for saying goodbye and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And this is Vidin. This is Riri. We are signing off. Thank you.